Good morning, in game and in the real. Uh, today video thought I'd do talk about the uh, some issues with the new Alpha 17. This is 6240. Uh, what the hell is today's date? Today is the 29th, December 29th, 2018. In the real, day 84 for me, and uh, well, I thought I heard a chombi. So, yeah, I did hear a chummy. Oh, good. She's down. Is that a screamer? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. The biggest issue for the game for me right now is the damn beakers. Um, coming across beakers is extremely difficult. Hopefully they address it. And uh, a couple workarounds really quick, right out of the gate. Um, sort of give up early game finding them. Like, if you come across them, consider yourself lucky. But... Uh, this is my base. Uh, usually when I start the game, I s try to find the church. And I build a little uh, house on the roof, uh, the porch roof of the church. And then with a double jump so those chombies can't get you. And then uh, I had come down here and explored and the church was getting decimated every horde night. So I thought, you know what, let me find a new place. And I found this place. So I made this... Uh, uh, silo here so anyway so that just this is just for bearings so my base is currently located at uh, 465 south 86 east and then the workarounds for the uh, chemistry station since you're looking for the beakers are um, there's a trader that is up here at 913 north 1062 west he has a functioning chemistry station right there and then there is a uh, I don't know maybe a crack house or something like that in the trailer park um, and that is at 621664 east that's 66 or 622 south 664 east that's another chemistry station that I found those there may be more around but those are the two that I found those and uh, this one was sort of close and I just stopped looking and then I'm always going to the trader trying to uh, double up so I drop resources and the trader to function and then I go out and do his tasks and come back grab the resources and do that the buried treasure um, or buried supplies or whatever good way to harvest uh, clay you know so you're not just mindlessly going out and digging uh, and digging holes just to get clay you can actually go out and multitask so, uh, that's one walk around. And then the, uh, oh, let's talk here. The, um, what else? Oh, with vehicles, I don't have it on me. Um, word, of, word of warning. Do not, do not, do not use your vehicle as a storage bay to haul stuff unless it's the last um, uh, trip back to base. Do not leave your vehicle unattended or, um, w like, if you, if you, uh, let me just go get it. And, uh, so, yeah, um, so we got the ramp going. This is good. Me right. Um, got the drawbridge. If you're not sure how to draw, drop a drawbridge, definitely watch videos before you do it because if you place it wrong, it falls and, uh, Okay, all right, so um, talking about, you know what, let's just, from here on out, it's going to be, um, what do you call it, um, uh, frames, it's, I'm just going to start just randomly ADD video production, drawbridge, okay, so you want to make them four across, so imagine that, well, let's just do four across. Of course it won't place so like that and then as high as you want I, I recommend at least four high um, and then that and just for the interest of time I'm not gonna go high so pretend this is whatever you know way up in the air you want to do that type of thing you want to lip and then you want to place the um, you want to place the uh, drawbridge right there but 
before like don't you build it out of better material like build it out of cement or whatever um, uh, don't use frame block because it uh, strong chance it'll collapse so drawbridge talked about it this is a work in progress where uh, my daughter this was originally the double jump to get across and into here and she kept having problems because her computer's a little slow so I'm trying to find a solution where she doesn't die so uh, yeah so in here and then um, this is the elevator and please if the uh, developers are watching this ever um, don't change this or improve upon it so uh, this is our what I call elevator um, it is hatches that go all the way up and you come into the hatch you close the hatch while you're standing it you jump and see how the screen's blurring and boom you're up on top of the base uh, this is the fall pit uh, let me just show you since we're here doing it uh, you got to break it apart you can't go all the way down now the early game you could um, you could fall the way down now you have to drop in sections these are hay bales so you place hay bales and you can make the, the drop so it uh, get, gets you up and down very quickly now I in my base I'm working on a fall pit that um, is enclosed I was on the fence about enclosing that one because it gives you a nice idea what's out there you know like what kind of firefight you're gonna be falling into so what uh, what did we come up here um, chemistry station Oh, vehicle. Where the hell did I put the vehicle? Yeah, there she is. Alright, got gas, yes. Alright, alright. So, um, you got the workbench, the table saw, the forges. In yeah, early game, this is, you're really focused on getting the forges. So, do what you can, research tree wise, to, um, get that going. Like, that is what you want going, big time. And then, um, the my goal was the uh, hammer and forge number one and then advanced engineering to get the um, auger so I, I went through a lot of grief to get those two items the rest is just whatever for me uh, the way that I found to rank up this is another one of those uh, alpha 17 deals before I would just go and dig my tunnels and uh, set up a micro and uh, macro, sorry, and uh, just let the thing go, you know, just walk away and come back, and I'd have a ton of XP points, a ton of rock, and all that other resources. Now with stamina and all that, you can't really get away with it. But um, ranking up, the uh, the way to rank up now is, I don't like it. Um, it's sort of like a you're you're gaining XP for everything you do in varying amounts that goes to like an XP bank and rather it being specific on the tasks that you're accomplishing that you're getting better at you're just getting you have to assign attributes to get better at a specific tree like to me it should be like if you're digging you should be getting better at digging just by digging and then hey by the way here's some points go put them someplace that you can you know that it will improve whatever you know like uh, make you a stronger digger or whatever but anyway yeah so um, to rank up in this game what I found and there may be better ways is archery and um, boom headshot the reason for that is you get the most amount of XP's more rapidly out of killing chombies or early game really builds of this I would I hardly kill a chombie you know my kids call them chombies that's why oh yeah there's my kids base over there one of them and then my other kid daughter's working on that one uh, and uh, here's our you know here we go ADD um, here's our farm my farm and they just happen to conveniently have access to the resources uh, just harvest so there's not uh, not much growing why is this is there a blank strip there? Hmm, maybe I'll drop uh They must have yanked up all the coffee seeds. That's frustrating. Um, yeah, reason for this is uh, we can farm while it's horde night or whatever during the night. You don't want to go out. Um, you can harvest resources without fear of death. So, um, yeah. Sometimes the trees, putting trees up there, 
Oh shit, hang on, let me go turn the volume up here on game. Go deal with her unless she suicides. Okay, those damn things. So, um, the screamers, I put out like random rows of uh, uh, traps to negate sometimes the screamers. Um, you know, if they get hung up in that, then they, they don't come in and start screaming. When you're trying to build base and you get like two screamers and they're screaming their heads off and chombies are pouring in, it's kind of frustrating. So, yeah, that's the reason for that. Sometimes I let them come in and scream and then have fun and get XP that way. But So, back to the vehicle. Here is the 4x4. It takes a tremendous amount of resources. It is unbelievably unbelievably frustrating when you're in a building you come out and you're like wait what wait where is it i just i put it here where is it where did it go and it's gone it is unbelievably frustrating uh they disappear in game i, I don't i can't find the pattern per se but the one thing that, so here's another tip we talked about the chemistry station workaround this is my vehicle workaround all right, so we're in a vehicle. Vroom, vroom. We're driving. Now, let's say this uh, building over here. Actually, I, I usually do this on the road, so I might as well keep it. So let's say that building is mega building, and we're going to go in and raid it. Okay, so we go and we pick the vehicle up. We keep it on us, right? If you're really far away from your base, maybe drop a bedroll because you're probably, if you go in a vehicle or you go in a building nowadays in this thing, you're probably going to die until you get better at the game. So, um, uh, drop a bedroll, come in, take all the crap out of the, well, let me see if I, yeah, no. um, take the crap. Now you're loaded to the gills, right? And you're really tempted to just drop the vehicle and start putting shit in it. Do not. Come out here. Make a chest. And then... Uh, see, here's another glit. Like, I'm trying to... I can't put that there. It won't let me. You have to, like, reset the game to get those slots to start functioning. So there. Um, now the chest is there. So then, load it up, uh, another tip. What I use is something red, like I usually have gas on me, so I'll use the red as a, as a, um, whatever, a marker for everything this side of the red don't, don't put in, and everything on um, this side drop in the chest. So these are things that I would not leave, this is strictly for example. But, like, let's say that's all crap supplies, right? Um, so I load up the chest. Keep going back into the building, coming back out, loading chest. Out in the building, coming back in, loading chest, okay? So now you're ready You're you're ready to go, you know? So come up to the chest. You come and grab all your crap as much as you can. Leave the chest there. Oh, open the marker. And then put, like, I do a right-click and then save waypoint and put X. So I, that's my X marks the spot of where the chests are and I write chest, okay? So you are gonna leave crap here. There's no way you can carry it all back. So, but that's chill. You know, here, let me get rid of this. All right, so the chest is there. I just got rid of it because it's way too close to my base and I don't, eh, whatever. So we got supplies in that chest and we're back in the Jeep. And away we go, and we pull up, we're driving, we go across the whole damn map, and we re rinse and repeat. So you go, you pick up the vehicle, drop a bedroll, and go into the building, harvest all the resources, come out, um, make the chest, put the chest on the road, put the marker there, Get as much crap as you can carry, like, you know, hit the R to fully load yourself, and then go, and then you'll have these chests scattered around with resources in them. 
then when you're out on a mission or something and you're driving by and you're like, oh, there's a chest, just swing in and pick up the crap that was there and then bring it back to base. Don't ever leave your vehicle anywhere that isn't in a crate or in your inventory because um, it, it can and it does disappear. It's unbelievably frustrating. I have a mini bike. I had a mini bike. I had a motorcycle. Both are gone. I just had them parked and came out of the building and it was no longer there. So they just uh, d disappeared. So that's pretty frustrating. All right. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, water. Um, start mass producing. Uh, what do you call it? Mass producing glass jars. You can do that in the forge. Once you get the forge, you get uh, sand. And with sand, you can create glass. And um, with glass, you can create. Uh, when you have the glass in the forge, you can create glass jars. Just mass produce them. Don't turn 100% of the um, contaminated water, or what do they call it, murky water, into pure water. Like, don't boil it all. We, you know, do a 50 50 ratio because you need the murky water for the biggest hurdle. Is uh, let's go, what time? Is it? Yeah. The biggest hurdle. Well, these trees aren't normally here when you, we planted these trees. If you notice, I have 111 oak seeds. Um, when you get to this biome, you can uh, plant it. It only give you 600 wood, but it's a good way to um, have quick access to a lot of wood. I'll show you the chainsaw here. Okay, chainsaw. Um, do I need? Yeah, I need wood too, so this is good. All right, so chainsaw. Keep a bunch of repair kits around for fixing the. Uh, fixing the um, auger and the chainsaw. I did a, yeah, I just realized I did a no-no there. Uh, not this time, you bastard. I wasn't expecting to start harvesting. Yeah, so, um, when you harvest, I always yell at my kids. My daughter has a video of me. Eh, if you pick something up, put it back down. Otherwise, you don't have the crops. Think of the future. Think of your future. Plant your crops. I don't know if those things are landmines or not. I just see them randomly around. That right there. Uh, I've, I know I've walked across a few. I don't want to do anything because I don't want to die. But Alright, so yeah, you get the idea of planting um, forests. What else can I show you? Yeah. So showed you where the beakers are. Showed you that. Showed showed you the chemistry stations. Showed you the four by four. Showed you how not you'll do it. You'll do it. So you'll you'll lose the vehicle. Um, you'll go into. Uh, you'll forget to drop the bedroll. You'll go into a building and die. Have to run across the map. When you get there, your vehicle will be gone. Um, let's talk about... Yeah, we can go into base. Talk about things in base. So, ranking up... Um, the the traps, the wood traps, are sort of a pain in the butt anymore. Um, and they're all like... This is what they look like brand new. So, like, you don't... You ha they're very subtle, like the ones that are broken. Um, 
like that one is broken come on but the hit hit box to get to have it repair seems really small anymore do I have any more um, hitbox and it's really frustrating um, I keep seeing it but there you go no oh, I'm fixing the floor uh, all right so let's talk about killing chompies um, this uh, I had I had put this damn door down and I should have went one more high um, the found floor was right here, uh, the ground, and I put the door down, and I should have went one more up, and then, uh, frustrating, I didn't, but, so, it just, the, you know, game continued, and you, um, sorry, I'm seeing this stuff that I can rank up here, the game continued, and I thought, well, if you can't, raise the bridge, you lower the water, right? Isn't that the saying? So, uh, dug down. Now, um, one of the things I'm thinking is this might be our kill pit, um, where I just dig straight down and create this whole area where the chombies fall to their death. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Normally, that's the thing I do in-game, in but one of the other things I'm wondering about is building... Um, Maybe maybe this around this tower, maybe just just in general a tower that goes unbelievably high, and see if the what of the path the pathing of the chombies now seems pretty impressive, or um, uh, and why I'm saying that is I've watched them fall off this building and run over there somewhere, clearly going upstairs that. I, I hadn't noticed yet or whatever coming through the whole building and then coming at me again um, uh, from a uh, you know coming for, going through the entire building so the pathing seems pretty good so what I was thinking is if, could I exploit that um, could I make a, a huge tower and then have a um, wrapping staircase that goes around and around the tower having uh, traps set so that when they peek past each level or whatever, that the uh, that the traps smash the smash them down a little bit, and then at the very top have the kill pit so they fall down in the middle and then actually go all the way down almost to bedrock. Did I hear somebody? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was what I was thinking. Um, yeah, so I was working on this. And this, what I want is an up close and personal kill area. So my, since they were coming into this area, let's see here. Since they were coming in. Um, I want to fix that, but I got to deal with that. Uh, since they're coming in to kill me, um, I wanted this area. A lot of cobblestone. I'm so lost. So here we go. Yeah. So you get the idea. Um, have a, like a nice little kill area there. Um, so if they come in here, you can kill them, and then. Uh, the uh, give me my arrow back, and then hey, I hear somebody. Uh, you're too slow. Well, since he's here, since you came to visit, um, where is it? Hey. Let me um, let me show you how this works. Oh Jesus! Uh, don't do that. Well, at least I'm showing you the drawbridge. Did he die? 
gonna be classic. He did. You couldn't even, you couldn't even help me out here, buddy. Well, had I not fallen. So these, uh, this is a metal trussle. Uh, sorry, metal trussle, and it's as old. I'm using the old because it seems like you're able to stand on it better. I don't know. I never tried the other. So the old block, and this allows you to shoot through. So let's see. Um, just to show you, a bow and arrow. Boom. And then you're able to um, you're able to shoot through that. So chombies are down here, and they're getting dead, and you're shooting through. Uh, should I fill this area in with traps? Um, the whole point of this is to gain XP, so you don't want the traps taking away your XP. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's why that is like that. That, this, traps over here is to protect this base, the main base, so that's why there's traps all over hell and back. I've got to get in there and tweak them more, but that's, uh, that's later. Um, uh, so what else, what else, what else? We could go to my indoor, uh, I was just looking over there, I gotta fix that someday. That was from early game, I think. Alright, so jumping... Oh, jumping... We you were up top. Alright, and... That's coming down. So right now I'm going to show you my... Do I have my auger? Got my auger. Don't have a lot of fuel. Yeah, I do have fuel. Take some barrels. Let me stow this crap. Yeah, look at all that corn. Oh, uh, Horde Knight? Oh, sweet. Oh, well, I'm gonna, uh, well, I don't know. Do I. Do I show you the base? I'm looking for a tissue here for. Um. Well, I need bullets for Horde Knight regardless. Bullets. I need bang bang. Deal with that, deal with that. Um, so, I have two forges going. One I do rock and... Uh, oh, I can't do that. Yeah, the hell of it. Oh, where is it? Where, 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 where? Uh, one, I deal with rock. This one's rock and this is metal. I focus on metal on this one. So I just drop metal in and then I'm able to, um, do that. So that's that. And how are we? We could recipes. So let me show you while Horde does. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Oh my god. I got... Okay. So, first base. Um, well, second base, actually. Church. And then this is the uh, one that I set up temporarily. Yelly. Then I wanted more room, so I built the, the top level there. Uh, fall pit down. And then fall pit down and then eventually I'll have more fall pits I'm working on it now but so we go down and I'll upgrade that no fall pit here unfortunately yet so down we go so this was done by one of the stone tools um, the stone uh, axe and it took forever but I wanted to hit bedrock, and then, uh, so this is bedrock, and let me, what tool could I use to, there's a different sound, and I'll just do it with the axe, so there's a different sound, when you get to the bottom, here's what it sounds like when you're hitting rock, okay, or hitting whatever, yeah, here's what, it, you get a ping when you hit bedrock, hear that ping, but don't do that. Um, don't keep doing that because it destroys your tools quick. Um, 
so which is you know cool a way to hey if you're if you got a macro going and you're just you get to the bottom then you're screwed time to eat it up okay so right now that right here is where we were and then I'm running down here and I am all subterranean like some of this was with the steel axe and then about a quarter of it was with the steel axe and then now the auger I'll show you what the auger could do baby oh it's too early I got to bed late Um, when you find sand, usually it means that there's better resources to be had. Uh, so that might be, like, yeah, I don't want to deal. Uh, let's just keep going. So, here we go. So we're at, right there, so what my goal is, is to get to here, uh, create a really secure um, entrance way so that I can run out and get water without any issue, even though... It's a non-event, really, but whatever. Since you're there, um, the kids will, you know, it'll be good for the kids to have that secure. Then digging a 45 in here is sort of a pain in the ass. Um, so I'll probably, I don't know. I, yeah, I, I'll go up and then I'll make a turn and then go to the trader. Get as close as I can to the trader, build another one of those things, and then build to uh, my goal is to get to here create a massive base under is uh, at bedrock under this mountain uh this is a mountain here and uh the reason for the base under the mountain would be there's uh tons of material above you and your heat signature doesn't come through so um yeah you're less likely to uh uh get wiped out the the what I was gonna say the uh, uh my nose um all right the auger time I'll just show it to you okay it's full don't die you bastard run away run away. metal I hear the metal falling Wow that's a cave-in huh yeah it seems like th this does get a lot more cave-ins all right I'm out of fuel so with the auger, your key components are fuel and um, repair kits. You want to have repair kits handy. I, I would just be down here for days. Um, so we're getting close to Horde Night. Uh, let me, you know what? I really want to see if there's metal up there. Alright, so this is called, um, what do they call it? Noob, noob uh, tube or noob tower or whatever. 
uh, polling, um, I forget, whatever it is I'm doing it, and I do it well, till I fall. So what I'm looking for now is metal, I thought I heard that might be metal. If I fall now, I'm screwed. Yeah, alright, there's metal. See that? See it looks rusted? Yeah, that's metal. And, and, ah, oh, nice. Way to, way to waste it. Um, I don't know what gives you more metal. Like, I don't know if it's the, uh, auger. I don't think it is. Alright, let's see, like, like there's metal, this is lead. Like, I don't know if using the pickaxe gives you more, I think it does. Yeah, I think it does. Um, so you may not want to, uh use the auger when you find metal because you might be wasting um you might not be getting as much as you could i don't know though I, it, it's a hard i don't know but i'm really f glad i found this vein though because i need lots and lots of metal oh just take coffee where's my metal at three here I'm hitting E when that happens. I don't know if I don't know if it helps or not. Yeah, this is, I like this. Oh, good. Um, because I'm, I'm so light on metal. Right now I'm torn between going up and playing with Fortnite or harvesting metal. I'll probably end up dying in an avalanche. See, like these cave. Oh shit! I thought I was falling. Um, the cave ins are really frustrating. Plus, I'm getting closer to the chombies up there. So, <laughs> where are we at? <coughs> I'll go a thousand. You know what? In the interest of time. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay. Alright, let's just call it a day. Whoa, don't want to pick up that. show you a horde night. Let me prepare. So yeah, the gun, uh, you can modify. Things have modifiers now. 
So you click modify, I've got reflex sight, uh, semi trigger so I don't go fully auto, semi, huh? flashlight, cripple them, and a magazine extender in this particular gun. Um, and the flashlight is like uber bright. Um, I don't know if, it seems like it dazes them a little bit, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's a advantage to having the flashlight on gun, on the gun. Eventually, I'll put a uh, mini bike down here to go back and forth here and just leave the mini bike uh, in a crate. Uh, don't, like I said, your vehicles will disappear if you leave them just out. Think of it like a friggin', I don't know, ice cube in the desert. You know, you don't want to leave it just laying around because it will go away. Well, let me do a little coffee action here. So, if you know, you can't hear anything yet. You can't hear any chombies chomping away. But they're coming. Now, do I make the run across the ground? to my bridge, or do I go all the way up? It seems so peaceful. Come on. Let's see if I can get this, if this can place. Huh, it wants to. Come on, placey, placey. Oh, God, it's so damn close. There we go. So this is another technique. You like using, a, what you call it, as a bridge. So I am shocked that more chombies aren't here. A horde night without a horde. Huh. This is when I get gutsy and I start screwing around. Oh, well, one thing. I'm gonna secure a few items. Oh, uh, where is it? That, 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 that. Where'd all my money go? Hmm. That should be good. Uh. I don't want to lose that. Just in case, I've lost my pack where you die in a certain position and you lose the pack. Why would I do that? I don't have that kind of time. This is bizarre. I know if I pull this trigger, it's going to be like dinner is served. thing I can think of is they're chewing through the ground out there trying to get to me. Um, there we go. There. <laughs> Had to do it. Hello, chumbies. Where are you? I'm so tempted to put the vehicle down and just start driving. Hello. 
Is there anybody out there? Come on. A horde night without a horde. This is pretty cool. I bet you anything they're in a hole trying to dig down to that tunnel. Oh god, it's so tempting. Alright, let's do this. Let me go here, here. Go get, go get my sniper rifle. Not a huge fan of this thing. Where is it? Get some bang bangs. Cue it up. Reload. And let's see if we can spot them. So my tunnel is right about there. Getting a little too close. I I don't see anybody. Oh yeah, you see that? That's why I think they might be tunneling because I don't know if that was in game and or if they did that because um uh I had a, I filled that in with concrete block because there was this hole I found this hole and. God, holy shit, they're trying to dig down in my tunnel. But it could have been in-game. I don't know. I never noticed it before. I'm just amazed. How the hell do I get out of here? A horde night. I, you know, I might as well go out and harvest resources. That's what it is. It's just a trap. Yeah. There we go. I hear you. Where there's one, there's fifty. Oh, is she in here? Oh, shit, shit, shit. And of course. Uh, a little adrenaline. Just one? That's it? It's the only one that came to my freaking Horde Night party? I only got one coming to my Horde Night party? Oh, and she decides to go into a trap. Oh, there we go. Finally. Hey, welcome, green dude. Can you possibly figure out where I'm weak on this base? No. Hey, that's a support. Back away from that. Just back away. Oh, damn it. See now that bag there? That is just calling. bag. Oh, I want that bag so much. Over here. Get away from the bag, bastards. They love that support 
for some reason. Yeah, go into the traps. Alright, no. Stay down, bitch. Oh god, I want that bag. The bags disappear. Uh, the loot, loot bags or whatever. I could try this. This is a bad, no, bad idea, bad idea. What if we lure them over here? Hello, I'm over here, chumbies. Over here. And then just go for it. Alright, going for it. Da 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 Run, Forrest, run, you dummies! Ha 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 ha! What do I get? Oh, crap. Garbage. Oh, look at that, buddy jumping. There shall be no buddy jumping. down, stay down, stay down, uh oh, that sounds bad, oh yeah, here we go, so let's see how our creepy crawly does here. He's down. Let's go in uh, and try this out now. So the premise is... We, where do they try to kill me? Ideally, I wanted them in here. This I just never got around to fixing. I'm testing to see if it is functional. Where are they? Come on. Really light on the damn thing scare the crap out of me. Really light on the uh, glow in the dark dudes. I don't know. The, the buddy jumping kind of making me a little nervous here. Clearly, I need to uh, work on this spot as a uh, weak zone, since they tend to love it. Now, I realize I'm here, but I don't think the support's necessary. Hey, I made it. I don't think the support is necessary. Um...
but I think what I'm going to do is lower it definitely. That was a very weak horde knight. Normally there's utter destruction and chaos. Very uh, benign. Alright, let's... Uh... So yeah, what I'm going to do is... Um... Definitely get this down a level. Oh, where's my auger? I need my auger. see we need fuel that 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 I'll be going up top all that crap can stay the hell is that? Where were you? Uh, hello. Do you have a reservation? Do you have a... Thank you very much. That, um, is a, uh, well, you know what, let me deal with it now. Uh, chainsaw. That, that, that. Do 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 uh oh nail gun. Alright, yeah. So do I have traps? No. Yeah, I think I need to take a break, yeah. Coming up on the hour mark of this video. Yeah. So hopefully that helps. Um, and thanks for watching. See you soon. Day 85. Super special base. On my elevator of fun. Going to get some breakfast in the reel now. Thanks for watching. See you.